Right now, preparations are underway for the first MEM feast at Memphis City Hall. The annual tra Thanksgiving tradition was going to be canceled by a nonprofit that usually holds it, but an outpouring of support led to the city reviving the event under a new name. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio explains how local churches and businesses stepped in to make sure the tradition continued. Tomorrow, this place is expected to be filled with up to a thousand people for Memphis's first ever. Mem feast. Though the turkeys are on the smoker and in the fryer at Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church, it's just one of three churches cooking food for Thanksgiving dinner at Memphis City Hall. A lot of Memphians came together and donated money. A lot of companies stepped up. So Bellevue Baptist is cooking some of the side items. Mount Vernon Baptist Church Westwood is cooking some things. And my church, Mississippi Boulevard, has cooked some things as well. The event is being held at City Hall because the former location at the Cook Convention Center is under renovation. In previous years, the food would be cooked at the Convention Center, but this year it's being cooked at area churches and will be loaded into hot boxes and driven downtown in city vans. In addition to food, care packages filled with things like socks and blankets will be handed out to the needy. Organizers say thanks to support from across the city, along with quick thinking and creativity, they've been able to pull such a large event together in just a matter of weeks. I'm happy. I'm happy that we were able to pull this together. I think it's a story that the nation needs to hear about how in Memphis um, we don't just talk a good game. We always respond to it with action. To see this city come together in times of adversity, when somebody drops the ball, others will pick it up and run with it and make sure that something people treasure is not lost. And it just shows the goodness of the hearts of all Memphians. The event doesn't start until 10 a.m., but all those volunteers they're expected to begin preparations by sunrise. In downtown Memphis, Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.